one of the things we've learned is that you, it's really hard to kind of chase esports and get them to adopt your game. So you, to some degree, you have to do a little bit and see if it starts picking up and then run and support it. Um, and so uh, that said, one of the things that I've been working on and Respawn in general has been working on is a feature called Networks. Um, and we're not talking all about it today, but it's designed to help people uh, organize into groups and have a friendly place to meet up when you go play and make it easier for people to party up and play matches together. Um, and it'll also allow some more interesting coordination to happen that I think could play well with the esports community. It's just that balance of how much work do you do before your game is you know something that esports players want to play versus you know let them put all that effort into the game so it's a game that they actually do want to play and you know we, we have a, a limited amount of resources and we want you know first and foremost the game has to be fun and amazing and that's where we kind of are focusing all our energy right now. Cool. Maps and modes yeah. that's something that we're going to give away because we don't want to you, know, you end up splitting the community over time as you you know put out map packs and some people have them some people don't so we want to just give everybody that so the experience is all the same. So last game um, we were a small team we still are um, and we wanted to put all our resources into doing something really, really, really well. And we decided to go towards let's do cinematic multiplayer with AI and do stuff, something that was brand new. Um, and at the time, we tried to figure out like what else could we get in there and there's just no way to also do single player and have an interesting game. What we've created is something that's, I think, really new for first person shooters. Our, story, our single player game is very different from other single player first person shooters. And there are a lot of surprising moments. Uh, we don't want to spoil it because we want to have uh, a bunch of things in there that will be a surprise to people when they first play it. But you, hopefully you saw from our single player trailer, uh, there it's, it's not a training mission for multiplayer. It's a big single player offline story. We have a lot of big levels. There's exploration, there's mobility, and puzzles and challenges, um, and so it's something that we really embraced and ran with on this game. Uh, and I'm really excited to, to get it out there some soon. So, uh, as you know, on, on Titanfall we used uh, Microsoft's Azure Cloud. Um, and on this game, since this launch is going to be uh, even bigger than last game, um, I really wanted to make sure that we had an insane amount of scalability and reliability. Because what's really important to me is that the game just works. And so for this game, uh, we partnered with a UK company called Multiplay. And they have a lot of expertise in game server hosting. And we've been working with them to build a new custom solution that uses every cloud. So uh, we are still on Azure. We're also going to be on Google. We're going to be on Amazon. We're also going to be in what's called bare metal servers that are just machines and racks in big data centers. So I want, to, I want the game to be hosted everywhere to find places that are near our players, make sure that we have absolute stability and reliability. But that said, we, we, it's a brand new system, and that's one of the reasons we're doing that multiplayer tech test, is to prove all this out and show that we're ready for launch. Um, but once we get there, it's going to give us really uh, insane level of scalability being on every cloud and on bare metal as well. You know, obviously, you know, the partnership with Microsoft was fantastic and worked for us, but now as we're expanding out, you know, the more flexibility we have, the better service we can offer to players. There's some pieces in the single player that are just not what you would expect from the game and just when we have people in to kind of test it and, and watching them play for the first time, it's just the watching it click with them and just watching them have a great time is just so fantastic. So I think it's that, and it's you know now we're bringing the single player. We're coming out on PS4 now, so we'll have you know even more p players in it. And I think it's important to note that you don't have to have played the first game. I think the multiplayer this time, um, with a lot of the new gameplay we've added, uh, the changes to the Titans, so that you have a lot of readability. So when you see a Titan coming at you around a corner, you have an idea of what you can do to counter them, what you need to watch out for them doing to you, and it creates some really interesting gameplay there as well as obviously like grappling hook is really fun and I love using it and do some really interesting new mobility challenges that that weren't possible last game um, and we've done a lot air of new ballet. the air, air ballet, ballet. we've done you know there's new weapons there's a lot of stuff that I feel really good about the balance of this one